Hey everyone, so this is how I make a pinwheel hair bow. It's a pretty easy process and no sewing for this one. So I have a one and a half inch white ribbon and I cut my pieces to eight inches long and the center is three eighths of a ribbon and I cut that four inches long. So first I'm gonna use my lighter and I'm gonna singe the ends to prevent any fraying from the ends. And I think it's really important because with time, if you don't do this, the whole thing will just kind of fall apart. So don't forget to do the center also and once you're done with that you're ready to fold your pieces. So you're going to need to find the center of this piece because you're going to fold it over like that. So if you fold it in half and you kind of press it you'll crease the center and you'll know where to put your glue. So put your glue and match the ends to that center line and I actually didn't put enough glue for this step and I'm gonna to have to repair it, but you get the idea. So once you've done that, you're gonna fold the ribbon in half just to find the center of that ribbon. And see, you can see the center right there, center crease, so I put a dab of glue right there and then fold it in half. Now one important thing is to not put too much glue, that was one of my mistakes. And in this part you can see I didn't put enough, so I had to go ahead and put some glue to fix my ends. Easy problem to fix. Alright, so once that is done and the center has been glued, you're going to put some glue in the back area where the seam is, and you're going to fold the end of the ribbon back towards the center. Just like that, and once you've done one side, you can do the other, same thing in the other side. And like I said, don't put too much glue. It'll make the center too bulky, and it really, it'll look messy at the end. So find the center, and that is your first piece. And now the second uh, piece, you're gonna do the exact same thing. Find the center, glue the middle, and it's easier if you do one side first and then the other so it doesn't fall apart like it did on me earlier. Then fold that piece in the middle to find the center and put your glue right there and then fold it in half. And like I said, not too much glue because when you put this together, if you have too much glue, it will um, ooze kind of out in the center. So fold it back and fold this piece back towards the center again. And now you have both pieces done and you're ready to assemble your hair bow. So line them up together and find the center of both. And you will be gluing both pieces together, so you see, and kind of fluff it out so that you know that it's all centered. Get your glue and put some glue right there. And like I said, not so much glue, I used way too much. Hold it in place just to secure it so it doesn't fall apart. And there's your hair bow. And now that you've done both pieces assembled, you're going to glue your pin to the back. And this, I just ordered them. They come with that little ribbon already attached to them. And I get my clips off eBay. So they already come with that ribbon around it. So now the center piece, like I said, it's four inches long and you're going to glue the ends to the center. So put a dab of glue and press it down. Just don't close it immediately because then you'll glue it to the clip. Wrap it around, I actually wrapped it around twice and just make sure that when you're gluing it, the final piece, that you're holding it really tight and that you don't put too much glue because you can see how some of it uh, kind of squeezed out. So anyways, that's my hair bow. It was an easy project. 